Now that concerts are back up and running, many of us are excited for a summer full of music. If you're feeling adventurous, why not check out a new venue? Here are five of the most unique music venues worldwide to give you a few ideas. Number one, Sydney Opera House. Maybe it seems like an obvious choice, but there's a reason the Sydney Opera House has become so iconic. In January 1957, architect Jorn Utzon entered an international competition to design a national opera house for Sydney's Bennelong Point. Utzon won that competition despite being a relative unknown in the architectural community. Pressure began to pile on the then 38-year-old architect as the building was like nothing that had ever been seen before and put him in demand in a way he was not accustomed to. Eventually, this led to Utzon fleeing the country midway through construction, never to see the completed building. Despite this, the Opera House became an iconic symbol not only of Sydney, but of Australia itself, hosting thousands of breathtaking performances from all manner of artists, visionaries, and creators. And Jorn Utzon's legacy and career would never be the same. Number two, Red Rocks Amphitheater. The Red Rocks Amphitheater in Colorado is an open air amphitheater that has been built into the surrounding rock structure. Their website cites that there is no better place to see the stars, which holds a double meaning, as not only has the venue hosted some of the biggest names in entertainment, it also provides a clear and stunning view of the sky above. It is between the Great Plains and the Rockies, which creates a unique environmental experience for concert goers. Theater's architect, Burnham Hoyt, set out to do a minimum of architecture, as he stated, in order to preserve the natural beauty of the site. The site also naturally had extraordinary acoustic properties ideal for performances, so Hoyt was careful not to damage the integrity. The theater hosted its first events, Puccini's Girl of the Golden West and Denver's Rush to the Rocky Centennial Celebration in 1959. Number three, Wheeliska Salt Mine. This is one more venue that also serves as something of a natural wonder. The Wieliska Salt Mine is a Polish historical monument and an UNESCO World Heritage Site. Commercial salt mining was discontinued in the site in 1996 due to falling salt prices and mine flooding, though salt products can now be purchased through their website. Visitors can tour the mine, visit the graduation tower for rest and relaxation, book company events, hold weddings or proms, or of course see a performance. Though the mines are not primarily a music venue, its various halls and even the graduation tower provide an incomparable ambiance for concerts. If you would like to catch a performance at the Mines one day, keep an eye on their website for upcoming events. Number four, Harbin Grand Theater. The Harbin Grand Theater in Harbin, China was designed to be a cultural center of the future. It was designed by MAD architects led by Ma Yonsong, who won the Cultural Island competition to create a grand opera house. Construction of the theater began in 2011 and finished by 2015. The curves and waves of the building were inspired by surrounding wetlands, with the goal of having the structure blend in with its surroundings. Yansong wished for the theater to contrast the towering skyscrapers of the nearby city. Harbin was named a music city by UNESCO in 2010, so having it house one of the world's grandest and most architecturally impressive opera houses could not be more fitting. Number 5. Slane Castle Seeing your favorite musician perform at a castle on the Irish countryside sounds like a dream come true. But if you head out to Slane, Ireland, you could just get the chance to make it a reality. Being that it is a castle, its history is vast and spanning as far back as 1701 or earlier. The castle in its existing form was constructed in 1785 under the direction of William Burton Conningham and his nephew. Since then, tenants of Slane Castle have been varied to say the least. Not least known of which are the band U2, who took up residence in the castle to write and record their album The Unforgettable Fire in 1984. The grounds of the castle have been used to host concerts and festivals since 1981 and has seen the likes of many world-renowned musicians. It is primarily a rock music venue, with one of its most well-attended recent concerts being Metallica in 2019, where 75,000 fans were in attendance. Is the idea of finding your drawings in seconds music to your ears? We got you. Speak with a drawing specialist using the link in the description and get your customized drawing management strategy.